I'm going to leave the key pro behind now. Uh, awesome as it is, I just want to mention um, hard drives. Uh, not very exciting, but very important uh, when you're doing your when you're doing your editing. You got to keep your you got to keep your footage somewhere. Well, most of my clients lately are either shooting on P2 media or they're shooting on S by S media. Okay, tape out the window. Tape is gone. We're going tapeless. We're either on the KeyPro or we're on these data cards. So traditionally, you're going to copy all your P2 media on a Firewire bus, and you're going to copy all your S by S media on a USB bus. So that leads us into a little bit of a problem, because most of our portable hard drives are USB or Firewire. So I just want to mention a, couple, uh, a quick way to avoid tying up your USB bus and your Firewire bus, because you want to capture your footage right to your portable hard drive, which is going to be USB or it's going to be Firewire. Well, it's time to graduate from USB and Firewire hard drives. I want to move you guys into eSATA hard drives. Why? Well, the fastest Firewire, 800 megabits a second. The fastest USB, um, you know, arguably, 480 megabits a second. If you are going to use an eSATA hard drive at the minimum speed, you are double Firewire 800. Okay, it's 1.5 gigabits a second transfer speed. So this does two things. Number one, it reduces the time of transfer. And number two, it increases the speed at which your computer can talk to your hard drive. So you can actually play back more um, bit-heavy media live. You don't have to wait for things to load up, right? So Jesse, you say, I'm on a laptop and it doesn't have eSATA. What am I going to do? Well, for about 150 bucks, you get an Express to eSATA adapter. It slides into your Express slot, has an eSATA port so that you can connect your eSATA hard drive. Jesse, I'm on a tower, I'm on a Mac Pro, what am I going to do? Well, for under $100, there are a couple of great manufacturers. Um, CalDigit makes them, Lassie makes them, Serratech makes them. You can actually get a PCI Express eSATA card. Open up your computer, stick it in a free PCI slot, bam, three gigabit per second transfer rates between your eSATA hard drives. Um, the, the nice thing about the G speeds and the Lassies, uh, the, the portable hard drives that you might already own, they already have eSATA in them. Might as well spend a couple extra bucks and get the eSATA port for your computer, which frees up your Firewire or USB bus to ingest your media and also speeds up the, the, uh, the data transfer rate between your hard drives and your computers. All right? Hope you guys have enjoyed that. Let's, uh, let's eject this drive here. So <clears throat> that concludes our very exciting peripheral portion of our Final Cut Pro 7 Episode 8.